For the last 12 years across Northern Ireland, around 300 people have taken their lives, and many of them uh, in our own city is from this uh, very spot here. Unfortunately, from this uh, beautiful river, the River Foyle, famous around the world, uh, in the northwest part of uh, the island of Ireland, in this great city, Derry City, uh, it's seen its fair share of uh, young men uh, take their lives. Uh, and like I say, it's, it's from this very spot that many of them uh, choose uh, because they feel that they have no hope. Thankfully, uh, due to uh, an organization, a charity called uh, Foil Search and Rescue, uh, who man this, uh, man this river uh, night and day, uh, many have been saved. Yet the question remains, why do so many people choose to take their life uh, at this spot and in other parts of this city? It's a complex question and it's very difficult to answer it with any uh, high degree of certainty, but we do know that a lot of the, uh, the reasons that the families talk about is there seems to be a, an element of loss of uh, hope. There's a hopelessness. Uh, David in the Psalms, uh, what, with what seemed to be his own wrestling with uh, mental health, uh, wrote, uh, penned these words, beautiful words. Uh, why art thou so cast down, O my soul, and why hast thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I, and yet shall I praise him, who is the health and my countenance and my God. The only solution to the hopelessness we all feel at times is God. He gave his son, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, to offer forgiveness from sin, uh, the purpose for living an eternal life uh, with God in heaven. What Northern Ireland needs and what Derry City needs, uh, what the world needs, is the hope that only comes through the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's what we're trying to give our city. Northern Ireland is probably known by outsiders more for the Troubles, a uh, 30-year conflict uh, of sectarian violence. Uh, but now, 20 years after the Good Friday Agreement, more people have died, uh, sadly, by suicide than ever uh, during the Troubles. Thankfully, this land is a lot more peaceful than uh, ever before. Uh, there's a lot more prosperity and regeneration, uh, including this amazing uh, peace bridge uh, just behind me here. Uh, but we do know that no government, no uh, peace plan uh, made from man or no uh, other organization can really uh, bring the peace that this uh, city desperately needs. And the peace that this city needs uh, is the peace that comes from Jesus Christ. And uh, it's a peace that this world cannot give. Uh, it can only be found in Christ. 2,000 years ago, this part of Ireland would have been an island in the middle of the River Foyle covered in oak trees, the Irish word uh, Derry eventually became the name of the city. Because it was an island, it was easily fortified, surrounded by water. Many people came to view the city as a very strategic place. That's certainly true today. Derry is a city in the northwest part of Ireland, somewhere in the region of 300 to 400,000 people in the uh, surrounding areas and all of them are affected by what goes on here in Derry. About 16 years ago, my wife and I came to Northern Ireland and God uh, did a work in our heart about this city. God captured our heart with the beauty and the people and the need here for the gospel. And so we moved here and began to reach out with the gospel of Jesus Christ and start a uh, gospel preaching church. Uh, we were here for seven years working and in 2013, uh, it was our privilege uh, to turn the work over to Pastor James Wilson, who's been leading Derry Baptist Fellowship now over seven years. And there is a tremendous need here. Uh, he is faithfully sharing the gospel. He is trying to reach out. God has blessed and the church uh, now has their own building uh, where they can meet right in the city center. There is a tremendous need to reach out. He needs your help. He needs people to pray for him, uh, to support the work here with special projects, but most of all, he needs laborers. Would you consider giving your life uh, to come and reach the people of the northwest part of Ireland, Derry City with the gospel? Maybe you could come for a short visit, maybe a gap year, uh, and live here, get to know people, and be able to reach out with the hope that Jesus Christ can bring. You know, the Bible says, uh, what does it profit if a man gain the whole world and lose his soul? And it would be worth it to live your life and give your life to reach one soul with the gospel of Jesus Christ.